Hi guys, so the final part of my question and answer videos. So Deborah's Book Cafe asks, who are your favourite authors? I have a tendency to like female fantasy authors, so Isabel Carmody, Juliet Marillia, Melissa Meyer, Libba Bray, Leslie Livingston, Lisa Manchev, Diana Peterfriend, to name a few, and of course, Her Majesty Joe Rowling. <coughs> Excuse me. Favourite movies, just a few here, Labyrinth, Bright Star, Inception, Stranger Than Fiction, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, The Social Network, Penelope, Me and Orson Welles, The 2003 Peter Pan, The Lord of the Rings Trilogy, The Philadelphia Story, not Philadelphia, Philadelphia Story, Sleepless in Seattle, About a Boy, I Captured the Castle, Dear Frankie, Stage Beauty, Shakespeare in Love, The History Boys, there's some. The Beagle Book Reviews asks, favourite place to buy books? The Book Depository, certainly. That's an online site. It's fantastic. They have uh, tons and tons of titles to choose from. They're cheap. They release them. It tends to be, you know, they're available on the release day. And they ship internationally and for free. Some bookstores that I really like over here... I tend not to shop in them anymore because I have no money, so I just browse in Borders. I'll purchase stuff from Borders if they've got sales on. Um, Angus and Robinson is a, a, an Australian chain of bookstores that I like to just look in. And then there's Cooks Hill Books, which is a second-hand bookstore that has fantastic titles. They get new stuff in every week, and it always takes me by surprise, the stuff they have there. And they have new releases for $3 through to about $6 which is incredible, and I've got stuff like The Forest of Hands and Teeth and um, On the Dead Toss Waves and The Demon's, the Demon's Covenant. Grabbed all those there, completely by surprise, it's great. Favourite book cover? Here's some of them. This one. And this one. And this one. And these. You can see similar colour schemes. And the original Isabel, uh, the original Hobbit Newton Chronicle covers that were the gorgeous illustrations that I love. They've changed them now because they're stupid. This one, I do not like corsets, but I think this is evocative, as is this. And I do not like the new covers for the Gemma Dollar Trilogy. They're ugly. They make no sense. And why did they change them? I don't understand. Uh, Favourite character on Glee? Certainly Kurt and certainly Sue. And it hasn't changed from day one, and I think they're always going to be my favourite characters for a variety of reasons, but essentially they're the two I care the most about, they're the two that surprise me, they're the two that I think have the most emotional integrity and um, the best one-liners, and I think that Jane Lynch and Chris Colfer's portrayals are spot-on and fantastic, and they're both so talented, and they're brilliant. OCD of Books, Karen Hello asks, how do you decide what to read next? As I've said before, I read by mood, so I'm very fickle and stupid, and I'll point to a book and say, you know what, I'm feeling like reading you right now. I'm in that kind of mood. So I'll pick it up, and if I'm not getting into it for some reason, or I'm not liking it, or my mood changes, which is really embarrassing, but it's happened tons of times, I'll have to put the book down and start something else. I've been, like, totally engrossed in books, been halfway or three quarters of the way through them, and then my mood will shift, and I think, I, I just don't feel like reading you anymore, and I'll put it away. It's happened. It's so silly, but it's just how I roll. Uh, what do you do with books you don't care for? Um, ordinarily, those tend to be stuff that I borrow from the library, because I'm very, very wary of purchasing a book unless I'm fairly confident that I'm going to like it. But it's happened before, so I'll give them to second-hand bookstores. I've done that a lot, and glad to do it. And often I've done it for free. I haven't asked for money, because I'm silly like that. I'm too generous, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Just foolish. But um, I've given a lot to friends as well, if I've known that they've wanted them, or they might need them for, for the future, especially if it's been novels I've had to purchase for school or for uni. So yeah, lots of giving away. How do I organise my books? By genre. That's my preference. Um, admittedly though, there hasn't been any room on my bookshelf for quite a while now. It's completely crowded and the shelves are like bowing in the middle. So yeah, can't possibly stuff anything else in there. So books are kind of haphazardly stacked around my room as neatly as possible. And I still try to do them in genre. But once I get my second bookstore... 
once I get my second bookshelf that I desperately need, it's going to be taller, it's going to be wider, I will be able to arrange it more to my liking. But I do try and keep books of a similar theme, similar universe, they kind of live together because I think they're happier that way and there's no fights between my books, which is nice. Um, occasionally some of the classics like to push each other around. I think there's a bit of rivalry between the Bronte sisters and Austen because they kind of hate each other. But let's smooth it over. It's okay. So those are the questions. Thank you very much, everybody, for all these interesting discussion topics. I hope I've answered them okay. It's been so messy and it's taken so long as it always does with me. But you've all been lovely. Thank you for your support, for subscribing, for being such friendly people. And I will let you know as soon as I can about the winner <laughs> of uh, my book giveaway. But I'll leave it up for at least another week so everyone can raise their hands. So don't forget, put your hands in the air like you just don't care. The world's stupidest song lyric. Um, but do it, and you might get a book out of it. Who knows? So that's all for now. Thank you, everyone, and I'll see you later.